White-haired ladies wear their Sunday best next to husband and wife sharing the buttered body of Christ. A teenage boy with the beginnings of a beard shuffles anxiously in stadium seating stiff as a church pew. The makeup of parishioners like a sanctuary on Christmas Eve, unfamiliar faces, but welcome nonetheless. In Arkansas, we see two men kiss and turn away. There's no affection on rural streets, just pickup trucks and rednecks on our breath. In the temple of theater, we are studied. Two men sitting too close, legs touching the way our hands cannot. We watch and recognize, tune out the action movie stigmata bleeding through the walls. When I saw you in movies after Stand By Me, it was like you'd been resurrected, though it felt like I was cheating the universe, that I wasn't supposed to watch you grow older. When you first disappeared to a haunting instrumental of that title song, I mourned you. The second time, I'd been robbed again, your beautiful face crushed against the L.A. pavement while a thunderstorm played paparazzi and punk angels sang you to sleep. If you had lived, your home would be lined with golden statuettes. I picture them weeping from roles others have played, a gay cowboy or tragic rock god. The internet is a viper, room for a photograph of your open casket and stories of those thieving seizures. I'll remember you as Chris Chambers, walking away, vanishing from sight, never more perfect than at 12 years old. Jesus is anyone?